Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of my breastfeeding journey, pumping tips, pumping tricks, whatever you want to call it. So in today's video, we are going to be drilling down everything I did to build up my milk supply to have a freezer storage that I filled up two times. Also, how to pump lots of milk in one day. The max I pumped was 42 ounces, I think, in a day. And also, everything I used during my breastfeeding journey that just helped make breastfeeding a little bit easier for me. So before we get started, please consider subscribing right now and hit that notification bell so you always know when I post. Leave me a comment down below if you love these mommy videos, what you like about them, and if what you want to see in the future. Also, if you're into beauty, go check out my playlist and binge watch all my beauty videos. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so as I was getting started to film this video and I was digging up all my stuff, it was like digging up fossils because it felt like all this was so long ago. I'm kind of going through my notebook because I wrote down everything so I wouldn't forget a thing. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to start from like the beginning. Um like before I even gave birth. So I was really trying to get my baby to come out early. I did not want to go the full 40 weeks only because the week that I was due, there was too many birthdays and I refused to give birth that week. And yes, we went into labor early. But one of the tips that um, a midwife gave me was to hand pump at least once a day, starting at 37 weeks to, cause that will help contractions come on now doing that I did it for every day for five minutes and she did tell me don't do it too much because then you will start lactating and you want all that good colostrum in the beginning for your baby so I did it every day only five minutes and I believe the week before I gave birth I gave birth at 38 weeks and six days so like the day before I turned 39 I like I saw a little bit of milk did start coming out and I would stop as soon as I saw that I would stop um, but doing that I felt like help helped bring on my milk supply very quickly once my son was born um, so that was a plus so definitely if you are afraid of not producing milk right away when you give birth try doing that like um, have a hand pump and pump your breast milk um, a few weeks before like your due date no nothing before 37 weeks um because that will help bring down um your milk so the breast pump i used was the Medela harmony and it is a really simple pump i actually use this my entire breastfeeding journey because it was just so great for on the go when i wasn't at home where i couldn't just plug it into an outlet so this was awesome that i could just take her um that I could just take with me but this is also what I use while I was sitting at home pregnant as heck and I will try to induce myself with this another thing that will help your breast milk come in quicker and have more of a rhythm is your baby itself so I had a pretty good midwife I really liked her and she told me that she could give the baby like it's called a pediatrician massage or I mean, she wouldn't give it to them. She would have the pediatrician give him a pediatrician massage. So my baby was only latching on one side of my boob, but they wanted to encourage both sides. So that way I didn't have, get like mastitis or like only have one boob producing milk because once the baby gets older, they will want more. So there's like this pediatrician massage that will get them going and can actually teach them how to latch on very, very quickly. And it worked my son latched on and I was producing milk equally from both sides so if you have given birth and you're still in the hospital and you feel like your child is not latching on try asking for a pediatrician massage to help them latch on okay so now going into me pumping and building my supply so at first I wanted to teach my son how to actually breastfeed off me directly. So I didn't pump all that much in the beginning. So the first, for the first two weeks, my son breastfed directly on me. And then at the end of the day, before I would go to sleep, I would pump 
um, for about, so I would pump for about 20 minutes and then whatever milk I produce, I would make into what are um, like bottles for the night for however much he ate. And then that way my husband could help me feed the baby while I could get some rest um, during the night, which that helped a lot because in the beginning, your, your baby's only taking maybe one ounce or less or maybe up to two ounces in the first two weeks. And what you produce, maybe it could be like two ounces per booby or three ounces per booby. And you can save that and start building up your milk sash. So like I said, I only did that for like the first two weeks. And of course, around the second week, your baby does start to cluster feed. So that's why I said I only did that until the two weeks. So um, after the two weeks, my baby started cluster feeding. So what I started doing is once he would um, feed on me, I would then pump right after and store whatever I had left in my boobs because I didn't want to let that go to waste. So I started pumping that and saving that in case he was hungry then in an hour. And that will help me have time to produce more milk for the next feeding. So I know this is then a struggle for a lot of moms that get frustrated with the cluster feeding stage because they feel like my baby's not eating enough at this one time so he's hungry again in an hour. This will avoid that and will relieve you from that some of that stress and it def definitely helped me out. So I would pump right after he would get off because I'll, also he would only feed on one side. You would pump your whole one side and then pump the rest of what's left on your other side. And then you're creating another bottle for maybe in an hour or you're saving that in a freezer bag for the future. So all these tips as I go, you are feeding your baby and you're also building your milk stash. Keep that in mind. So quickly before I continue, I just wanted to show you guys my breast pump. So this is the Medela Pump and Style Advance. I did show this in my day in the life of pumping. This bad boy put in some work and obviously I only kept it for this video for these purposes because I can't like pass it on because the warranty like expires once one person uses it and honestly I don't even know how well it'll work for another person because I used it so much. So after this, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I I don't know. I'll probably just throw it away because I can't give it to anyone. So, which is kind of sad because these things are so expensive. And obviously my insurance covered it. And like, there's probably people in this world that need it. That can't afford one or don't have insurance. So another tip on when you're directly breastfeeding. And you don't want to waste milk. Like I said, how I would immediately pump right after um, I would breastfeed is using a haka pump. So this is a haka pump that just suctions on to your booby. And what I did with this was when my son was latched on to one side, I would put this on the other side and it'll catch all of the letdown that that came down while he was breastfeeding. So as you guys know, when you breastfeed, your other booby is like leaking like crazy. That is precious golden milk that you want to save. So I highly recommend getting one of these. Now, I have seen a better version of this that's not Hakka. I think it's a different brand, but it is like the most genius invention. So I have had events where this thing is on, fills up to like four ounces and falls off of me. And that is the saddest moments. Those were the saddest moments of my life because all that hard work that you just put in to fill this up with four ounces of milk and it just drops and spills. That is the saddest moment. So the new one I found, which I will link down below if I do find it, it has like a hook here and then with like a neck strap that you strap on. So when it does drop, it just stays dangling here which I wish they would have just invented that like sooner. I think I only saw that a few months after like I had already gotten this. Excuse mine being so dirty. It has been in storage because I wasn't using it. But like I said, this hat, this is awesome for like that middle of the night breastfeed that you just put this on so you can catch everything. Now I like literally would hold it like this so it wouldn't fall while I have my baby on this side. And then at the end of the night, once he was done, 
breastfeeding, I would pour this into like one of these milk bottles, pour it in here, close it, and then I kept a mini fridge in my room so I didn't have to go downstairs. Also, I used these two a lot together. So when I was on the go and I was taking this one, this one was also coming with me because while I was pumping on this side, it mimics you feeding your baby. This side is going to let down. So you wanna catch that milk, catch it, pour it in here, pump the rest, put this on the other side in case you do have anything left that you did not catch in the first pump. And I'm telling you, it helps a lot. And I'm telling you, all these tips help build your milk stash. There is no drop of milk wasted. So now, I am a working mom. So there had to, there had to be a transition from breastfeeding to exclusively pumping. Now this is when like it really came down to me going hardcore pumping. So like I said, every time after every time I breastfed, I also pumped, which obviously it helped increase my milk supply and help me build my milk supply, my milk storage, my milk stash. Because it was kind of like as if I was feeding like two babies at once. I also wanted to train my son to get used to a bottle rather than my breast because I was going back to work so I was not going to be there to constantly breastfeed. So at the one month mark of his birth, I stopped breastfeeding and it was bottle only. I would only breastfeed if I felt like he really wanted to latch on and he needed me for comfort. So now what I did was when that one month came and I was and I switched to just pumping, I set alarms for every three hours to pump milk. And I was at home for two months um, on maternity leave. So I had the one month to kind of get my body into rhythm and get my son to drink breast milk and all like all the like learning works. And the second month it was kind of like, okay, we got this. We need to produce milk and we need to have this baby trained to be without me. So at that one mark, at the one month mark, I set alarms to mimic the times when my son needed to feed. And also, he would wake up anyway, so like, it would be like 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12, 12 p.m., and every three hours, I had an alarm to pump, and also that I would know when my son needed to feed too. So he would be drinking a bottle, I would be pumping. And at that point, my baby's drinking maybe three ounces in one feeding, but I'm producing three to four ounces in each boobie. So this is where I'm saying, you start building your milk stash very quickly because your baby might only need three ounces right now, but you're producing three to four ounces in each side. That's like max eight ounces you're producing in that one si in that one sitting. So now you can either make two bottles and have a little bit of, of a stash, or you can stash it all and wait for the next feeding and pump that. So that brings me to starting the pitcher method. If you're not aware of what the pitcher method is, the pitcher method is pumping all day long and then storing your milk in the fridge so at the end of the day you have a pitcher full of milk breast milk and then you make the bottles for the next day so the way you start this is because once you once you're past like the first day you kind of have a rhythm so on the first day you're going to start let's say 6 a.m your first feeding of the first feeding of the day you're going to pump your milk try to pump like right before they wake up and let's say you pump six ounces of milk, three ounces on each side, you pump six ounces, your baby's only drinking three ounces. So you'll feed them the three ounces, put the three ounces of milk in a pitcher. Look, next session, same thing. You pump, give them three ounces, see the other three ounces in a pitcher, and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, you should have a day's worth of milk for the next day because your baby's only drinking three ounces of milk per feeding and you pumped an extra three ounces of milk. So you'll have all of that in the pitcher so that at the end of the day, you can actually pour all of that milk in each bottle, like three ounces, three ounces, three ounces, three ounces, however many bottles they drink throughout the day, and you have that set. So now the next day on day two, they already have all their bottles ready. So all the milk that you start pumping throughout the day, it you can, you'll start doing the pitcher method and you'll start storing. So now, day two, you're pumping all day and you have pumped a day's worth, you've pumped two days worth. We're pumping three ounces on each side and they're only drinking three ounces 
per, um, per feeding. So you'll pump all day, day two. At the end of the day, take your pitcher, start filling up your bottles again, and now you're gonna have half of your pitcher left. Divide that into storage bags. So now this is the pitcher that I used, and I got this off of Amazon, and I'll link it down below. I believe I also linked it in part one, but this is from Amazon, and this holds 1,000 mLs. I actually always produced more than this holds, but because of the way the pitcher method works, the last pump of the day, I could not put directly in here because it was warm, and then all this was already cold. So I would always leave it to the side. I always thought of getting a second one, but then I thought there was no point because I wouldn't use the entire thing. But this is awesome because it's glass, it has a suction lid on it, and I was able to um, store this really nicely. I had a mini fridge in my room, so I was able to store it really nicely in the room. And I did demonstrate this in my Day in the Life of Pumping videos, which you guys saw. Now the storage bags that I like to use are the milk storage bags up and up and this is from this is a target brand and i really am going to donate this this is a whole box i had left this is a hundred count box but i think basically it looks like i have 75 left i have three three packs so i'm going to open this one and this is what they look like they hold they hold up to six ounces 180 mls which is perfect because you really shouldn't um freeze that much in a bag because maybe your baby does not drink more than six ounces in one feeding. What I did was I would freeze between three to four ounces because even when he got older and he started drinking like say eight ounces, I would just put four and four together or three and four for seven. You know what I mean? And then you can put the name, which I didn't ever did because I only have one baby. I'll put the date, how much I pumped, and I don't know, like any other information, but it says title. Or it says time. I never put the time. I just put the date and how much I pumped in here or how much I poured in here. So now by the time I'm going back to work, I'm basically exclusively pumping. And I'm pumping every three to four hours, pumping between 40 and 46 ounces um, per day. And the reason I say 40 to 46 is because depending on my nutrition, nutrition is very important i would on my low days it would be like 40 ounces and on my really great days it would be 46 ounces so it almost it, like was an equivalent to so like there was 24 hours in a day i almost pumped like 24 ounces on each side a day or 20 to 24 ounces on each side a day now i will warn you doing all of this is going to make you milk crazy like your boobs are just going to be exploding with milk it, I was so intense with it because I was so like on top of it and pumping so much and I oh, and sometimes I pretty much did give direct breasts to my son um, I had to get milk collectors but like I said I was pretty much exclusively pumping I would only offer my boob like when I would get home from work because sometimes you know after a full day not being with his mom he did want me and he wanted to be like nurtured and just wanted like comfort so i would offer my booby and then still pump <laughs> but i was doing all of that so much that i was producing a ridiculous amount of milk and my boobs just couldn't hold it so while i was at work i did i did reduce how much i was pumping during the day so i started doing it every four hours to kind of just give myself a, like a little break and i only had to pump them twice a day at work so i got these milk collectors and these are the lacti cups and i'll also link these down below anything i talk about today i'm going to link it down below so you can see it so these are called the lacti cups and basically you can like drip in a day and i always drip so instead of putting like those like pads um in your boobs i would just collect with milk and just get all stinky and funky like i said no drop goes wasted these things will collect it for you so i'm gonna put this back on so there's two like different color like silicone straps just to kind of let you know which one's which side i don't think there's a preference you could put it on each side on whichever side and then there's a hole where your nipple will go through and um see if you can see like how it is on the side it goes out a little bit so there's room for your nipple to be in there and then when you drip it collects in here and then but there is like a border up here at the top where if it does start filling up it doesn't go over so now when you're ready to take these off you would kind of just lean forward take it off because if you just pull them off your milk will, will your milk will fall out so you would lean forward take it out and then there's this little 
the little tab you take it out and there's a little spout and then you can pour it out into a bottle or something or wherever you're going to store it like i said no milk goes wasted this is collecting every drop of milk you can possibly get and of course pumping so much you get over it after a while you get tired of it that sometimes in the middle of the night when i had to pump in the middle of the night and i didn't feel like listening to that pump going on and on and on and just you just end up going and using your handheld ones because it's just so much simpler well it's not because you're putting in work but it's just like you don't have to hear that crazy sound and you're so tired you don't want to deal with strapping things on and going so i would sometimes do this at night too pump on one side and have this on the other side like i told you guys before so by three months by age three months i was pretty much exclusively pumping like my child had no interest in my boobs which was great it was fine and we just exclusively pumped so i want to show you guys a little a few things that made pumping a little bit easier for me so this is the medela um bra pumping bra and i freaking love this thing i actually have two because i thought i lost my one at one point and I went and bought another one and then I found it. <laughs> so this is like the bra. So you would put this on. So I just like zipped it up. You would just strap this around and it has two holes for, let me just open this up. So it just straps from the front and it has two holes here. So basically when you put this on, you would put your shields through the hole and then you would connect your this. then you'll connect like your pump parts to it and you can be hands free then and this is actually how i got a lot of things done around the house and still took care took care of my son while i was at home on maternity leave but my husband was working so if i would just strap these on i could still change his diaper i can feed him like i could do things and even though it was like stuck to like one corner where um, by the wall i could still do some things I even like would um, connect myself at the kitchen if I was cooking I would plug in and pump and be cooking with this thing and now for work because I pumped at work as well I had these amazing they're breastfeeding pumping bras but when you put them on they unhook and then come down so like this part is like a strap that just goes around but then when you hook it back on it closes this way i didn't have to like get completely like undressed when i just wanted to pump i just had to pull up my shirt take these down and i was good to go and i had gotten these from amazon and i got these in a bun like in a pack so it came with this is like the cream one and it came with a gray a black and i think there was a one more color oh and a pink same thing for these these are like camis the same thing though um like just the same bra concept so you unhook from here and go down a lot of times i did wear these a lot um like wear the cardigan so that way i really did not have to pull up my shirt i just had to put this down and strap myself on and i was ready to pump and these are really comfy too and you can go braless another thing that did really make my letdowns a lot better were these warmers so these are from i think it's lancino Yes, so these are um, from Lansino. These are like gel packs that you can put in the microwave to heat up or you can put them in the freezer to cool up. And then they come with these like pockets that you put them in and so you put them in and then there's like these connectors where you could close it to make a nice round pocket. And then your nipple shields can also go through here. Like so, oh, let's see like so you put it in it's in there like so and then you can connect like that so the reason i say that these helped a lot is because when i was so full where i felt like if maybe i was possibly going to get like a knot or something i would warm the gel pads up in the microwave for a few seconds put them in here put them on put my strap on put the nipple shield through and the warmth of it will help my letdown comes so quickly all my milk came down so quickly and it was it just felt so good and then once you were done if you wanted some more of like a treatment or just like some soothing then you could pop these in the fridge or the freezer for like 
for a few minutes, let it get super cold, put it back in the pocket and just put it in there to help like soothe your your soreness and I definitely did this a lot like before bed like do the soothing before bed but definitely um, warm them up before pumping so now if you are going exclusively pumping I would suggest getting a lot of pumping parts so I have this big bin full of stuff and I just have so many like pumping parts bottles like just a bunch of bottles here a lot of my little I don't know what they're called, but they're the little thingies with membranes on them. But I've got a bunch of bottles, which you would need. Because I was also pumping at work, I didn't want to have to constantly wash bottles. So I carried like a little bag with me. Whatever I pumped, I put like in a one bottle and then all my dirty pieces I'll put in a bag. Kind of like rinse them off quickly in this, under the sink and then put them in the bag. So when I get home, I would do my deep clean of them. And I did mention it in like my day in the life video, how like I would... Um, go about my day with all the pump pieces and how to clean them and all that okay now let's talk about how to increase your milk supply if you're struggling with not producing enough milk even though you are doing everything that I'm talking about so around when my son was four and a half months old I did get COVID and COVID had an effect on my breast milk it dropped a lot but I would only pump at most 10 and a half ounces in one day like it was so sad I cried because I was like oh my gosh I would pump so much milk and then all of a sudden it dropped so some of the things that I did was I power pumped I went back to also so I was able so I had to stay home for like 10 days anyway to quarantine so I took advantage of being home those 10 days to power pump like crazy power pump so there's a few different ways of how people power pump I've seen people power pump like just pump every hour. Also, I'll, I've seen people pump like sessions for one hour, like say like every 10 minutes. So I tried both. So during my 10 days, I pumped like every one to two hours for 20 minutes straight. For 20 minutes straight, which I will always pump for 20 minutes. And now, then like every, but every two to three days, I would do the power pump for an hour, which was basically pump for 10 minutes, stop for 10 minutes, pump for another 10 minutes, stop for 10 minutes, pump for another 10 minutes, do that for a whole hour. Another thing I did was, um, all my research on how to build my mix supply was also body armor drinks. Now they're sugary and, but they're kind of like a Gatorade, but they taste better, but, um, they definitely work. I would chug body armors all the time and I still like them till the end of my pregnancy. I would drink them faithfully because I felt like they gave me the most milk because they had coconut water in it, which is another tip. If you drink coconut water, that help, does help produce more milk, but the body armors do have wa coconut water in them. So I would buy them in bulk from like Sam's Club and just chug body armors like all stinking day. I was drinking body armors, I was drinking Gatorade, I was drinking water, I was drinking everything because I was like afraid with how much my milk dropped. I wanted it right to come right back up. I also then purchased Milky Mama products. I feel like those things definitely help. Their emergency brownie is so good and it brings your milk up like this, like quickly. That by the end of my quarantine, I was producing more than what I ever produced this point I was producing the 46 to 48 ounces a day so basically 24 24 ounces per boob per day which was awesome so now fast forward a few more months I think like six months I kind of wanted to um, decrease how much I was pumping so just to kind of get some normalcy in my back in my life back because I did have like this plan on I wanted to stop pumping I had so much milk stored that I was like, I need to stop pumping. So what I did was I eliminated my nighttime pumps and would just pump every four hours during the day, starting at 6 a.m., um, ending at 10 p.m., I think. Yes, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Every four hours I would pump and I would have then an eight hour stretch at night to get some sleep. Doing that definitely didn't decrease my milk again, and but and all I could pump was max 36 ounces a day 
which in my day in the life video you guys saw me pump 30 around 34 ounces and I think that was like the last time I pumped anything over 30 because then I started my birth control and that reduced my milk as well with birth control I was only able to produce about 30 ounces a day which was still a lot and definitely still more than what my son drank through the day and instead of maybe like storing three to four bags of three to four ounce um, milk bags I would I would save only maybe one bag of three to four ounces which wasn't terrible because I still had my my huge milk stash so now for some like sad facts about my breastfeeding journey I felt guilty about stopping breastfeeding so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna keep pumping until my body gives out and I can no longer pump but my like goal was actually to keep going to one year I was gonna stop at six seven months because that's kind of where I was like eh, I want to stop but then once I saw my birth control kick in and reduce my milk I was like you know what I made it this far I don't have much more to go to my son's um, one year his first birthday let me keep going see how far I get so that was my plan now so then I got the COVID vaccine let me tell you that kills your milk supply I went from pumping 30 to 32 ounces a day to pumping 20 ounces a day with my first shot. My second shot completely depleted my milk supply and it was shut down, gone. And I had a pretty good cycle going even with my birth control. I just like worked hard a little bit harder, like drank my body armors, drank my water, all of that. And I was still able to keep a good like rhythm going. Like I think. I lied. Instead of 30 to 32 ounces a day, it was 30, max 30. I was good there. And then once I got my COVID vaccines, it like cut it off. So in case you guys have experienced that, any of my other mamas out there that had gotten the COVID vaccine and saw a difference in their milk supply change, it was that if you got your COVID vaccine. So I was only able to pump, I think it completely depleted at around 10 and a half months i was no longer pumping anything like nothing would come out i think i i tried and like the most i could get was probably like five ounces in a day which at that point it wasn't even worth it so i just let it go but some great facts is that because i had such a huge milk supply milk stash already frozen i was able to feed my son up until his first birthday with everything that i did store i did forget to mention that um I used an app through this whole this whole thing is called Huckleberry. Please download it because it's such a great help with just keeping track of your baby's health and just everything about your baby. So that way when you go to doctor's appointments, you know exactly what to say about how well he's doing with feedings, um, diapers, and just like you, you as well, like you're pumping. So I tracked every pump schedule. You can you start a timer and then at the end of your timer, you log in how much you pumped on each side. And at the end of the year, it gives you like a recap. So in my 10 and a half months of pumping, I was able to produce 100 gallons of breast milk, which is crazy. And that's just what I pumped because that's not including what I actually breastfed. So definitely my son had way more than 100 gallons of my breast milk. Another great fact is that I was, because I was building such a huge milk storage, like stash, um at around my son's four to six months a lot of that milk was going to go bad and i didn't want it to go to waste so i was able to give it away to another baby to another mama and baby that really needed wanted breast milk and i was able to give that away so that's a huge like happy dance for me because i was able to feed another baby from my huge milk stash so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you guys want to know anything else about my breastfeeding journey. I can make a whole other video. I know I'm like missing a lot of things, but I try to keep it simple and try to kind of keep it to my tips and tricks on what, on what I did. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to see more mommy videos, or if you want to see beauty videos, or if you want to see home videos, hit that notification bell so you always know when I post. And I will see you on the next one.